Hello, I'm Martin Lewis of MoneySavingExpert.com. This is a video specifically for those people who have energy prepayment meters. As you'll know, there is a huge hike in energy costs coming on the 1st of April for anyone whose tariff is governed by the price cap, which is pretty much everybody on prepayment meters. There is going to be a rise of an average 54%. You're going to pay half again more than you are paying now to use energy which for somebody on typical usage will take prepayment costs to over £2,000 a year or over 160 quid a month. That is, of course, horrendous. Now, if you're one of the 40% of people who have a smart prepayment meter, your price will update automatically. If you don't have a smart prepayment meter, the long-term logic has always been that it is the price on the day that you top up that counts. And therefore, if you don't top up again, even if the price has changed, you will continue to pay that lower rate until you top up again. Which means an obvious trick is top up as much as you can in March so that you can keep the cheap March rate before it goes up in April or possibly longer. Now, when we checked this out originally, we got in writing from every firm except Scottish Power that this would work. We got the same again from the regulator. I then got my team to double check before I talked about this on my television show and we got it in writing from most firms again and the regulator again. But at the same time, we also reported Scottish Power to the regulator to say, is it allowed not to do this? All the others say they're doing this. Is Scottish Power allowed not to do it? And that opened up a whole can of worms. Because once this was started to be investigated, a lot of information came out that we'd never been told. And I suspect the people giving us the answers in the firms didn't know themselves. The first is, even if firms wanted to, this is unlikely to work in practice on gas prepayment meters. They are Siemens meters. And what Siemens meters can do is when you top up, if there is going to be a future price change, the card, if you like, can have the information on it about the current price and the new price and when it's going to change, which means on the 1st of April, most gas meters will automatically change their price. So you will be paying the new rate. So this simply won't work on gas meters. We also then started to hear some other firms toing and froing about whether it would or wouldn't work, E.ON specifically. We uh, had meetings with the regulator and firms, and I'd like to tell you what the current situation is. If we exclude Scottish Power, we know this won't work for. Other firms are saying it will work, but if it costs them too much money, they reserve the right to claw back the extra savings from individuals on this. And they would be allowed to do that. Now, this is purely intuitive from what we've got from them, what I'm about to say. It cannot be cast iron, but I would say British Gas, Octopus, Shell Energy and Bulb customers, you're the ones this is most likely to work for on your electricity meters because they've been pretty clear to us they don't currently plan to claw back the extra. E.ON customers, apart from Scottish Power, is the one where it's least likely to work. All the others are somewhere in the middle. Which leaves the big question, should you be trying to do this on your electricity meter? Okay, well, the first thing to say is in terms of what you'd pay overall, there isn't a risk. If this works, then you get cheaper prices in April. If it doesn't work, well, you don't get cheaper prices in April, but you wouldn't get them anyway if you didn't do this. So there's nothing lost. And the savings could be substantial if it does work. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is cash flow. Of course, by doing this, you're locking money away now that you can't have access to and putting it on your card or your key so that you won't be able to use it in future, which could leave you short of cash right now. So even though there'd be no extra cost overall, it could give you a cash flow problem. Now, if that isn't an issue and you're with one of those companies who may do it, then you may as well give this a go or at least as much as you can afford to do. If that is an issue, then I would be cautious about doing this. Uh, I, might, I might do a little more, but not too much more. So if you are going to do it, what's the safest way to do it? Well, you go and top up before the 1st of April, and then you make sure you take a picture 
of your meter, a timestamp picture. So if it doesn't have a timestamp on it, email it to yourself on the day so at least you've got proof of the time on the 31st of March of what your meter reading is. Now, the reason I'm suggesting that is because of how Scottish Power has said it will try and claw back money if people do this. And I don't know how other firms would do it, but my best guess would be they would operate a similar mechanism. So I'll talk about the Scottish Power mechanism. And we can assume that if, if you did it and a firm later decided it wasn't going to be allowed and it wanted the money back, it would work in a similar way. And that way is what will happen is, let's say you topped up on the 15th of March and you topped up again on the 15th of April. So all of that time, your meter was charging the lower rate. On the 15th of April, they would add a debt recovery charge on top of your top up, which means the, the next units will be artificially more expensive so that they can get their money back and recoup the extra that you paid. That's how it would work. So for a short amount of time, your units would be going even more quickly than the April rate. And this is one of the reasons I say it's very important to take a photograph of your meter at that point. Because let's say you topped up on the 15th of March and you topped up again on the 15th of April and the price goes up on the 1st of April. Well, they're of course gonna say, well, that was a month period. We're gonna take half of it and we'll charge you the higher rate on about half of that time. Well, if you happen to be away for these two weeks, so uh, all of your usage was earlier, that would be a bad estimate. So that's why you want that picture on the 31st of March so that if they, they overestimate your April usage, you can go back to them and say, no, that's not fair. You shouldn't be taking that much money. And what about those people who've done this, let's say on a gas prepayment meter and are now finding that it won't work? or it's very unlikely to work is the strongest I can go. Well, first of all, I should say I'm sorry if you got that information from me. We checked, we checked again with firms and with the regulator. We dotted I's, we crossed T's, and then the information changed on us. Uh, I feel gutted about that fact. I don't think there's anything we could have actually done differently, if I'm really honest, because um, we did the checks, but I'm gutted about the fact uh, and I'm sorry, personally, I'll say I'm sorry to you, uh, because I think it's important to say it. Uh, luckily, the point is it won't cost you any more, but if you are having cash flow issues, so there's no actual loss to this, but if you're having cash flow issues, then I would get in touch with your firm to see if it can give you a partial refund of the amount extra you added on. Uh, we're going through at the moment asking firm, firm by firm which will and which won't do it. And there's a, a guide in the news section of Money Saving Expert to all of this, which will publish the firm by firm information on this and, and actually more details on everything I'm talking about right now. But I don't have the full information. Uh, some firms are indicating that on a case by case basis, they may give a refund. Others are saying that they won't. So you can go back to them and try on that. I hope this makes sense. I'm sorry it's so long. The situation was way more complicated than we and the firms and the regulator first believed. Um, whether you do it or not is up to you. I, I would say if you've got the money to do it, and I know many on prepayment, of course, don't, then don't be too put off giving it a go because the savings would be huge.